One after another, South Carolina senators voted to ban abortions after six weeks of pregnancy. With the clack of a gavel, the bill passed under the watchful eye of activists outside the chamber. Senate will be in order by a vote of 27 to 19. The state's governor then tweeted that he'd sign the bill into law as soon as possible. For anti-abortion senators, all of them men, the bill's passage is a long-awaited success. They've tried three times in the past year to get such restrictions in place. Carolinians value life, uh, want to, to see uh, laws in place that protect a, an unborn child. Previous attempts had managed to be blocked by the sole female lawmakers. Called the sister senators, three are Republicans. They not only filibustered the bill, but they also lobbied unsuccessfully for a compromise for banning after 12 and not six weeks, when most women don't know they're pregnant. It's so disheartening to think that 41 men in this body um, can make decisions for women and girls that will impact women and girls across our state for generations to come. Since the overturning of Roe versus Wade, 14 states have near or total bans in the U.S. South Carolina was an outlier in the South because its Supreme Court reversed a previous six-week ban. But now its sole female justice has retired. And as the U.S. investigative nonprofit ProPublica notes, members of the legislature lobbied hard and successfully for her replacement to be a male justice, paving the way for its Supreme Court to potentially uphold such restrictions for a long time to come.